good everyone my name is graphics today we'll be constructing a cycloid now the first thing I'll do to construct a cycloid is you draw your horizontal line right and you also draw your vertical line this way now this is where they meet and we are told that the diameter of the only circle is 36 76 so the radius will be what 38 so I am going to measure 38 millimeter on my rule it here right and uh, I will come to the center here I'm going to draw my circle right so I can draw it is big is that again now so radius 38 you measure you draw a circle You see, so you thicken it. That's the first thing you do. Now the next thing you do, you divide your circle into uh, as many parts as you can. You can divide it into eight. You can divide it into twelve. You can divide it into twenty-four. But in this case here now, I'm going to be using twenty-four. So I can still use the same of my compass. You know how I use the radius of. Uh, 38 to draw so with that same radius i'll place it here at the edge of my circle i'll strike up i'll place at the other end also i'm going to strike up now place at the center where i will strike left and right now after doing that i will take my rule and ensure that those points i connect them to the center such that they are going to touch the other side of the circumference of the circle just like this you can see that just like this just like this just like this Uh, this is so I've successfully divided into 12 equal parts. So I'll say this will be my 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we are taking it in a clockwise direction. This direction here. So it is ruling in this direction. Right? It is going clockwise in the direction. And it is ruling on an horizontal ground. So I'll take my T square and I'm going to draw a line to show where it is ruling. It is ruling on an horizontal ground. I see that? Now, the next thing we do is to divide this line into. Uh, the amount of parts will divide the circle. You can do it into two ways. First way is you can take the, this, the measurement of this division in the circle, right? And you place it here. This will be one. This will be two. This will be three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and uh, twelve. So this is 
zero. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are we good? So that is the point twelve. This is what we have here. So let's move forward. So at this point here, we are going to use a C square and T square, and you draw a line from the top, which is six here. This is point six. And you draw a line, a horizontal line. You draw the line and with the help of your C square you close up the line you close up the line here of close the top the next thing we do is to draw vertical lines from this point to touch the top this way draw those points I see that to touch the top From four, you take from five, you take from six, seventeen, from seven, from eight. That here too. That's the next thing you do. And after that, we've already got these different points. This point here, you see, this is center zero. This is center one. This point here is center two. This point here, is center three. This point here, center 4, center 5, center 6, center 7, center 8, center 9, center 10, center 11, center 12. So the next thing you do, you draw a parallel line from each of those points. Since this circle is symmetrical, so point 1 and 11 will be at the same point. So if I draw this to pass through 11, I will draw it till I get to the last point. As you can see, I'll move the next one too. I'll draw it to pass through 11. Number 2 will pass through 10. 3 and 9 is already there. The next one is 4 and 8. The same line. This one is 5 and 7. On the same line, so it's already there. So we have it now. After doing that, the next thing you do, you take your compass and with the same radius of the center to the circumference of the circle, which we say is 38, you place it at point C, center one, that is C1, and uh, you draw your circle faint line this is the first circle one right there is the first circle one here so where circle one touch line one this is where circle one touch line one circle one touch line one will be our point one right i'll go to center two 
I repeat the same feat. I'll draw. Where circle two touch line two, this line two touching circle two. That'll be my point two. Go to the next point. I'll draw. Where circle three touch line three this is line three and this is circle three here. We'll be doing that one by one so you to avoid confusion. This is circle three here. Touch that will be point three. Where circle four, I'll go to the next one. I'll draw my circle four. This is circle four here, where you touch line four at this point. The next one will be circle five. Where circle five touch line five. Circle five, this is circle five here. Where you touch line five is here, this is line five coming. And it's within circle five here. Right? Then the next one is circle six. This is at this top here. So where's circle six? Touch line six. So this line six is coming. And within circle six at this point here. This circle six is at this point six and point five. Then you go to center seven to draw circle seven. Where circle seven, touch line seven. Now this is also five and seven are the same line. So this is line seven. So where you touch line seven, so you be taking the other part of it. So what you need to know is that from the first half of this, right, you be taking the left hand side of the circle. Then from the second half of it, you be taking the right hand side. If you notice it, I'm taking the front part of the circle, the right hand side. But from here now, I'll be taking the left hand side because 6 is what separates 12 and 1. So I'll go to the 8th one. I'm going to draw. So where circle 8. And again, apart from that, if you notice that the 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, they are on the right hand side. So anything I'm taking will be on the right side of it, this side of the circumference. Why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are on the right hand side. So that when I'm marking, I'm marking the right side of the circle. So that I'm talking about circle 8 now. So where circle 8 touch the 8, this is this point here. This is point 8. This is point 7. Then the next one is 9. Where 9. Touch line 9, this is 9 here at the right hand side, so I'm going to mark at the right hand side here. That's point 9. Then 10. I'll do for 10. So we 10. Touch 10 at this point, because this is line 10 here. Right? That will be 10. And the next one is 11 at this center 11 here. I'll draw my circle 11. Where you touch 11. This is line of 11. Then for 12, go to center. I'm going to touch this. So we'll circle 12. And 0 on the same point. 12 and 0 on the same point. So I've successfully got in my points. Then I'm going to join this double course of this cycloid together with the help of my French cuff. And I'll take my French cuff, I'm taking three points at a time, or even likely more than that if I want to. So if I take this, I'm going to take this. That's the first one. And I'll take this another one again. There's the next one. Then I'll turn it. Since I've used this side to draw the right hand, I'll turn it this way to repeat the same fit. So 
can take three points from there. Make sure I'm making three points. So draw this. And I'm going to join this. This one and this. Yes. And this too. So that is my locus of a cyclone. That is what we say to join join a cyclone. Now you might be told. That drop the tangent the uh, cyclones. So what you do is this. At any point on this locus here, you can choose a point. So let me assume I am choosing point seven, right? I'm choosing this point here. Or any point here, I would take here if you want to. So let me say I want this point here, right? So what you do from that point, you draw it to the center right so i'll draw it to the center from that point seven this point seven right so i will take the radius of it of this diameter of the circle which is 38 and i'll mark it at point seven mm -hmm. i'll place it at point seven and i will strike the center line of this parabola so let me call that point point p where it touch the center here, let me call it point P. So from that point P, I am going to draw a line straight down. Straight down from point P. So I'll call that point I draw straight down to be my P prime. So from P prime, I'll draw a straight line that's going to touch that point I choose to draw my tangent, which is 7 here. So this point here I'm seeing is what my tangent you can try to draw it outside if I want to that would be my my um my normal so if you are getting normal it's easier for you to draw your tangent so you should not forget from P you draw a line that what I did so to draw my tangent, like I showed you earlier, at this point here, I will show that my C square rhymes with the edge. You can see that it rhymes. What I mean, it rhymes, it does rhyme. Then on the base, I'm going to draw this. So you join this, I'll just draw this. You're not doing that. I'll complete it. So complete that from here. So this is my tangent to a cyclic. So it can be anywhere in the circle and the locus. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe button if you have found this video helpful. Bye.